My advice to any charity that was thinking about getting into eBay would be to definitely do it. You don't need to invest a lot of money and you don't need to have a dedicated facility. You know, for eight years we operated out of a spare room on the top of one of our shops in Halifax. And during that time we were taking £150,000 a year, we were auctioning perhaps 90 or 100 things a week and it was a nice additional service that was available to our shops as and when they were given unusual items that they would otherwise struggle to sell. And it was pound for pound the most profitable operation that we had. When you build a facility that's big enough and you get enough of the right skilled people in place, you can actually increase the sales from 90 a week to the situation that we're in now where we've got nearly 2,000 items listed on the site at any point in time. And as a result of that, our sales have gone from approximately £2,000 a week two years ago to £50,000 a week now. And all the profits from that goes to fund life-saving research. This is where it all starts, the process. Um, just got a delivery arriving here as we speak. This is where we book in all the items. And this is where the fun starts. This is where you get to see what's in the boxes. All sorts of different things. At the shop or the store, they have a retail system on their computers which allows them to actually list these items. So they list what the product is, which category it needs to go into on eBay, and their um, estimated value. Um, so when we receive it, all we're doing is saying yes or no, we've receipted it in. In here, we have the management team and the customer services team, and also the listers who list the general items and clothing. All the, the team research the items that they're going to sell um, and make sure we get make the listings as informative and as accurate as possible. The eBay platform itself is obviously fantastic. They get millions of visitors every month. The ability to auction on eBay guarantees that we get the best possible price and it's got a global reach. At the moment, sales through our eBay operation are hitting approximately £50,000 a week and that's about 100% up on where it was a year ago. So we've seen enormous growth and we see that continuing in the months to come. If you do decide to sell on eBay, make sure that you get the fundamentals right. Great photography, thorough research, just make the product as attractive as it can and make sure that the, the basics of what we would call pick, pack and dispatch are done well. We get very, very few returns. We get very, very few customer service issues, and that's reflected in the ratings that we get. It's very low cost to set up. eBay are incredibly supportive in terms of the help they give on listings and PayPal fees, and also the account advice that they'll give to people. So I would just say do it.